May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today we're going to have the fourth and last clip from an uh, uh, audio clip of a lecture that Shinyu Suzuki gave on July 30th, 1965, at Sokoji in San Francisco uh, during a session. And um, tomorrow we will have the uh, all the four pieces together. Uh, and um, so first you'll hear uh, him speak it, then I'll read it. You'll hear him speak it again, and we'll say goodbye for today. Then tomorrow uh, we'll have all four clips together. You'll hear the whole thing once. And I'll read it. I'll probably read it first, then I'll play the whole thing. And uh, that will be the last podcast uh, that I do for... Maybe I'll put up one a week after that in this writing uh, uh, retreat. I'm going on uh, indefinite length. <laughs> I have to finish the book, Tassara Stories. I am... Uh, dedicated, I am resolved, I'm going to finish it. So I, I think I'll do one podcast a week. Uh, so, you know, just to stay in touch. I, I think I can do that without it being too great a distraction. No, it'll be an inspiration because I will miss you. Uh, okay, so here we go. So, when the second Chinese paper see Bodhidharma and confess his simple mind, he said, bring me a simple mind. Catch the uh, simple mind, he said, the, he said. I cannot catch it. Of course, <laughs> no one can catch it. If you try to catch it, that is shadow, you know. How can you catch the shadow of your hand? So he said, I cannot catch it. And Bodhidharma said, the confession is over. <laughs> So accurate. What they point out is so accurate. You cannot move back and forth. There's no need even to read one page of book. There's no need even to listen to me. It is here. Before a fish comes, there's fish. In Sandokai said, before the night has gone, the dawn is here. When you're waiting for a dawn, the dawn is here. You are there, right there. You are through my right there. When you wonder, the true mind is right there. When you are suffering, the true mind is right there with suffering. Science cannot solve this problem. Even the detection 
the true activity is stop. True activity of your life is no more. So, if you do not catch it, when you are active, how can you catch it? And there is a way to catch it. That is our practice. That is the shin. Shin is mine. To catch our true mind is the shin. This mind cannot be caught by thinking. Thinking mind or a feeling. It is too late. So moment after moment to watch your breathing, to watch your posture is to dwell on your true nature. There's no secret besides this point. So when the second Chinese patriarch saw Bodhidharma and confessed his shameful mind, Bodhidharma said, Bring me your shameful mind. Catch the shameful mind. And Eka said that, uh, he said, I cannot catch it. And of course, no one can catch it. If you try to catch it, that is a shadow, you know. How can you catch the shadow of your hand? So he said, I cannot catch it. And Bodhidharma said, the confession is over. So accurate. What they point out is so accurate. You cannot move back and forth. There is no need even to read one page of a book. There is no need even to listen to it. It is here. Um, before fish comes, there is fish. In the Sandokai, it said, Before the night it has gone, the dawn is here. When you're waiting for the dawn, the dawn is here. You are there, right there. Your true mind is that, right there. When you're wondering, the true mind is right there. When you're suffering, the true mind is right there with suffering. Science cannot solve this problem, even vivisectors. The true activity will stop. True activity of your mind is no more. So if you do not catch it, when you are active, how can you catch it? And there is a way to catch it. That is our practice. That is seshin. Shin is mind. To catch our true mind is seshin. The mind cannot be caught by thinking. Thinking, mind, or feeling. It is too late. So moment after moment to watch your breathing, to watch your posture, is to dwell on your true nature. There is no secret beside this point. So, when the second Chinese person see Bodhidharma and confess his simple mind, he said, bring me a simple mind. Catch the a simple mind. He said, the, he said, I cannot catch it. Of course, <laughs> no I can catch it. If you try to catch it, 
that is shadow, you know. How can you catch the shadow of your hand? So he said, I cannot catch it. And Bodhidharma said, the confession is over. <laughs> so accurate. But they point out, it's so accurate. You cannot move back and forth. There's no need even to read one page of book. There's no need even to listen to me. It is here. <laughs> Before a fish comes, there's fish. In Sandoka it says, Before the night has gone, the dawn is here. When you're waiting for a dawn, the dawn is here. You are there, right there. Your true mind is that, right there. When you wonder, the true mind is right there. When you are suffering, the true mind is right there with suffering. Science cannot solve this problem. Even realization. The true activity is stop. True activity of your life is no more. So, if you do not catch it, when you are active, how can you catch it? And there is a way to catch it. That is our practice. That is the shin. Shin is mine. To catch our true mind is the shin. This mind cannot be caught by thinking. Thinking mind or feeling. It is too late. So moment after moment, to watch your breathing, to watch your posture, is to dwell on your true nature. There's no secret besides this point. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dog and Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Mm-hmm.